everybody my name is Maraid and welcome to my channel I thought today that I would do a little miniature haul I went to Target recently and just for a bit of perspective the closest Target to me is an hour away which is annoying as fuck but you know um, and I picked up a few items and I thought I would share what I bought with you so the first thing is I bought the new Fit Me Loose Powder. I picked up number five fair because, you know, I'm very fair skinned besides my redness. Um, mineral based formula helps control shine and smooth skin texture, lightweight translucent coverage, fresh natural look can be used alone or over foundation, which I don't know I don't I don't think I would ever just wear powder out it seems kind of silly to me but that's just personal preference the next thing I bought is an elf face primer this is tone adjusting neutralizing green uh, this multi-purpose primer Preps your skin and fills in fine lines so makeup goes on evenly for a long lasting matte finish. Ingredients help neutralize redness from blemishes and dry skin. Which, obviously, I need. Um, lately, my face, my skin has just been all over the place. Okay, so I picked this one up specifically because of the neutralizing green. Because I have issues sometimes lately where the redness will still come through foundation. So you can still see the redness even though I put like on a crap ton of foundation. Which is frustrating and annoying especially since <sighs> school is coming and I don't know. My skin is just irritating right now. But I'm excited to use this and I hope... I pray that this actually helps with the redness. And then the next thing I bought, another primer, I bought the Baby Skin Instant Pore uh, Eraser. Um, I've seen a lot of things that this is kind of a dupe for the um, Benefit Cosmetics Professional. So maybe I'll do a side by side comparison or something later on. Uh, instantly blurs the look of pores without clogging them, transparent gel formula. Smooths on clear, smooths and refines skin appearance. Fragrance free. Use alone for flawless skin, smoothing onto areas with visible pores, or smooth a thin layer under foundation for a smooth finish. For adult use only. Okay. I mean, I don't know why you'd stick that on your packaging when there's like freaking 10 year olds walking around with 20,000 pounds of makeup on acting like they're 16 and a half so that's <laughs> that's just so weird I don't know why you would put that on there so then I bought a highlighter I bought the NYX Born to Glow liquid illuminator a lightweight liquid illuminator that gives skin a refreshed glow and beautiful highlight I got uh, Sunbeam. I've never really used liquid highlighters, but I like the majority of NYX products, so I'm hoping that this will be a product that I like and will use regularly as I fling it across the room. Um, but yeah, it's 0.6 fluid ounces. At least it doesn't say for adult use only on it. It's so weird to me. And then the next thing is the Stay Matte Rimmel London Liquid Mousse Foundation. I got number 10 Light Porcelain. Um, I haven't really heard a whole lot about this foundation. Obviously, I've seen the commercials for it on, or the ads for it on YouTube. Because I somehow always get that ad a lot. Um, it's lightweight shine control, uh, feather light 
liquid mousse blends flawlessly for a natural looking all day shine control silky smooth formula leaves a perfect a perfectly matte baby soft finish i don't know about that uh lightweight texture won't feel heavy or greasy oops i'm just apparently can't hold anything today but I think this will be a good one for school just because I'm one of those people I don't like wearing a fuck ton of makeup to school just because I feel like for me personally school is not a beauty competition so I'd rather just wear a light um, layer foundation and just be very natural looking because for me I don't think school is about that and I don't make school about that and obviously I'm not trying to really impress anyone just because I'm not about that kind of shit but yeah the next thing I got is this new Neutrogena skin clearing complexion perfecter I got number 10 fair for my pale ass skin provides beautiful coverage for acne prone skin while acne um, fighting formula with microclear technology activate actively clears breakouts fights acne and provides even cover <laughs> um, fights acne and provides even coverage to help correct skin's complexion blends naturally with your skin to instantly blur the look of acne and minimize appearances of pores matte finish control shine won't clog pores hypoallergenic so this is another one that i think i will use for school a lot especially since it has the um, micro clear technology I like Neutrogena's products a lot my go-to foundation a lot of the time is the Neutrogena skin clearing oil free makeup their liquid foundation and I use 10 classic ivory um, and I don't know if it really helps with acne but I like to pretend or make myself think that it actually does even though it probably doesn't but yeah, so I like Neutrogena products so and I again I haven't really heard anything about this product from anywhere on YouTube or just in general so I'm hoping that I'll like it I'm hoping that it'll do kind of what it says if that makes sense yeah. and then the last thing I bought Wait, no, that's not the last thing I bought. Never mind, I have another foundation. I also picked up the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless foundation in number 110 porcelain. Why is every... Why is it always 10? That's the fair one. This one, the Fit Me Matte and Poreless foundation, I've heard good and bad things about mainly good um the um powder though I don't I've only really seen one video of somebody talking about it and that was um Kim Tai and she didn't really like it but I don't know um so this foundation uh matte and poreless foundation for normal to oily skin, mattifies and reduce and refines pores, matches natural tone, natural seamless finish. But yeah, I don't. Obviously, I have to try these foundations out to see if I actually like them or not. But I'm hoping that this one will be a good one. The one thing I don't like about it already, though, is that it's a liquid foundation and it doesn't have a spatula, which is fine I don't really care because the um the Neutrogena one doesn't have a spatula but it's a smaller bottle so it's easier to kind of control how much product you're getting out I'm like I feel like because this is a bigger bottle it could be a recipe for disaster if you're not careful and then the last thing is I got these Vegas nay lashes and shining star um and it comes with adhesive with it but yeah 
I'm not super big on wearing false lashes. If you've seen my previous videos, you kind of know that. But I thought that these were really pretty looking and God knows. I sometimes worry about longer lashes like this because my eyelashes are already so long that it could just look really overpowering and which is why I don't wear false lashes a lot or when I do it's the more kind of natural looking ones just because for me personally um I feel like with that much eyelash going on it kind of takes away from the shadows that are on my eye even though a lot of youtubers say that it kind of enhances the look I personally don't feel that way sometimes because again my eyelashes are already so fucking long I still am kind of excited to use these uh, just for obviously I'm not gonna wear lashes every day of my life I'm not that kind of person uh, but yeah they look really pretty and I'm hoping they'll work out for me and they're lightweight so I'm hoping that I'll, it'll work out for me. And that is it. I will link everything in the description box down below if you want to check out these products. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and give this video a thumbs up. Um, if you want me to do more haul videos just let me know in the comments down below. I would be willing to do more. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing like those $200, $300, $400 dollar hauls just because that's a lot of money. But, so again, thank you for watching this video. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video.